Well, my school choice story dates back to 1970. I come from a family of refugees and immigrants. My mother was a refugee from Fidel Castro's Cuba, and my father an immigrant from Ecuador. And they both met at an apartment complex when they arrived to the States in Hialeah, Florida, a poor community next to Miami, Florida. When they met, I came shortly thereafter. Mom chose to have me and to keep me when she was only 15 years of age. I tell you this because that painted my educational backdrop. You see, growing up in these poor neighborhoods, I was disinterested and uninspired in my schools. English was not my first language because I came from a family of immigrants and refugees out of respect to my household. I learned Spanish first. I learned English at school and that was problematic. In fact, I failed the first grade. But I believed in a woman, Alina, my mother, who always said, Evelyn, en este país tú vas a subir como la espuma. Evelyn, in this country, you will rise like the foam. She would tell me about principles like access and opportunity, and that one day I would get that educational opportunity. And it did come. You see, she made sure to make sure that I learned how to play the piano at a young age at the community center. And the School of the Arts had just come to Miami, Florida, a magnet school program that told all the kids in Miami, if you have talent and you audition in this school, your first two years of college will be free. Well, that was a big game changer for me. College was never in our trajectory. In fact, I didn't even know whether I'd graduate from high school. So I went ahead and did it. I was very nervous when I tried out for that program, but I guess they saw that fire in my belly and they let me in. And it was in that school that I became very inspired. It was like night and day being in those classrooms. I learned about Bach, I learned about Beethoven, I learned to love academics. But what I learned most is I wondered, this must be what the rich kids get in the nice neighborhoods. And it stuck with me because I was saved by an opportunity. But I wondered if all the other children would be that lucky. So when I became Lieutenant Governor, that was my first project, making sure that all children in all 102 counties had that access and had that opportunity so that they could rise and be all they could be in their own power. How would I feel if school choice was taken away from Illinois students. I'd be very upset. I feel like our students were not being served appropriately. School choice saved my life. And it took me out of the inner city schools in Miami and put me in a program where I learned to love academics. I knew after graduating from high school in that magnet program that I could do just about anything. If school choice were taken away from the kids in Illinois, I don't believe that a lot of those children would be able to dream the same way I dreamed. I don't believe that they'd be able to say that they could do anything that they want in this state. Well, looking at it, as an elected official, but as you know, it's very personal to me because I believe an educational opportunity saved my life. I think it's one of the most important things. You know, education is the biggest equalizer. It's what puts us all in the same playing field. So as Lieutenant Governor, that's why I was so focused and I served in the Governor's Commission to find that equitable and fair funding formula for all kids in all 102 counties. And along with that education bill, there was also a component of it so that children in underserved communities that their parents didn't have the resources to lift them all and get them into another community could have an opportunity to get a scholarship and go to a private school, have their choice. And that's why as Lieutenant Governor, I always fought so hard for that. I believe access and opportunity should be available to all children so that we could be all in that equal playing field.